Last night, I went on stream and played through every single rank in Rocket League in one sitting. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, the process was a little chaotic, but I managed to pull one player from every single rank in Rocket League from my community Discord, all the way from bronze to SSL, and I got a chance to take each of them on 1v1. Now I will warn you, this video contains a lot okay. of suspicious activity, but for as many whiffs as you'll see, there are some great learning moments that I'm going to highlight That's later in this video. So if you're interested in learning the secret, or maybe just what not to do to get through every rank in Rocket League, stay tuned. But if you're new to the channel, only a small percentage of the people who watch the videos are subscribed. So if you enjoy the video, consider subbing. It's completely free, and you can always unsub whenever you want. Anyways, let's start from the bottom. It's time to 1v1 every rank in Rocket League. No fear anymore. Let's check the Discord and see if there are any bronzes that have stepped up. All right, I guess we'll have to start out with, uh, I guess we'll just have to start out with silver. There, there are no bronzes in the chat. What? Bronzes are more rare than SSLs? So yeah, out of 200 people in stream, we were not able to find a single bronze. And so the story starts with our lucky silver player. 25 ping, we're back. 1v1ing every rank in Rocket League, for real this time. All right, woozy. Oh. Not a good time for a lag spike. <laughs> I just got scored on by a silver. All right, so let's see. What is the secret to outplaying the silver? We're gonna cut back and forth here. Put a shot on that. Oh, that was a killer save. Oh, I wasn't ready for part two. We should, we should try to learn as much as we can. And he is destroying me on kickoffs. You can't, you can't argue about that. Let's, let's watch. Try to learn, study. Good challenge. Let's continue to watch, continue to study. What, what is it about the silver that makes I'm them so unique? So let's, let's see. Oh, he's tilting. This is not good. Are we being toxic? No. We're gonna we're gonna go for kickoff here. I'm not gonna try to go too too fast. Oops. You know I think he might be playing back because I'm he thinks I'm higher rank and that's the way to go. But as you can see, that is not the way to play. All right. Let's see what he does with offensive possession. Not bad at all. He uh, he he has some speed, but it seems like he is just retreating a lot on defense. And if I just continue doing these simple shots, he's going to have a lot of trouble. Chat, what are we thinking? What is the secret to getting out of silver? You might ask. Stay tuned, we don't know yet. We're, we're on the verge of a breakthrough here. Going to drive back. I feel like a silver would miss this. But then they would come back and then they'd probably make a save. We'll, we'll, we'll use a silver kickoff from here on out. Okay, maybe that was a bronze kickoff. That was a bronze kickoff. Show off the cuts. Woo! We'll put one more in. One more. No! No! A tragic finish. A tragic, tragic finish. So in all honesty, I don't think we had any breakthroughs with the silver, but in his defense, he finished with three goals on the board. And considering some of the other games coming up, a final score of 6-3 isn't all that shabby. But no spoilers, stay tuned to see what happened in the gold game. Let's see how it's gonna go down. So, I'm going to try to play to the gold level doing a simple front flip kickoff. Let's see what the gold can do. If I just drive at him and pressure him. So, something I'm noticing thus far is, can I just drive this ball in the net? <laughs> My first observation is the, the gold and the silver players seem to panic a little. And it's fake challenging really isn't a thing at this rank. Um, so people are very, uh, very willing, let's just say, to get rid of the ball. So far, the uh, 
what, what's been clinical against the silver and gold players is honestly just these these hook shots are are killer um, at the lower ranks. So if you can set up a little bit of you know sideways motion um, with the ball, it can help a lot. Oh. Players at this level really like to flip, and a lot of times people don't uh, realize you don't you don't have to flip for the ball. Let's see if he goes boost over ball. No, he did not. Good man, good man. And let's just put a simple doink on net. Oh no, the fakes on the goal line are killer at this rank. Let's see what happens when we put a shot on, you know, in the air. Let's see if he panics. Good patience, good patience, good positioning. Very good patience. We're seeing some progress already. At least at the gold and silver ranks, if you can just focus on setting up the ball, right? Not hitting it, you know, only in the forwards direction, right? Hitting it left, hitting it right, coming around the ball. You are going to be much, much better off than 90% of the people at your rank. When, when you give gold to the ball, they're just banging it, and they're not they're not really giving much thought to what they do. It's just because he's not he's not setting up any shots. He's just hit ball, 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 ball. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Not entirely on the whole, you know, setting up the play, being intentional with the hits, but a noticeable improvement from the silver to gold level. There was a noticeable improvement, so don't count them out. Don't count gold players out. Of all the ranks, the gold actually had the lowest scoring match at finish. But the big problem with the gold was just that they didn't know how to set up plays. So if you're watching and you're currently gold, my recommendation is to start by learning at least one attacking mechanic that you can use when you get the ball. That way you won't just be mindlessly driving the ball at the opponent's net if you ever get it. But it's time to watch the most interesting rank in Rocket League. Let's study the plat. Onto the plat 1v1. Let's get it. We'll see kind of what we're working with. And we'll, and we'll give him a shot here. Just gonna put a high shot on that. All right, we got some aerial skill already. Let's see what happens when we do two hits. Oh, if that was on target, it could have been Doomsday. Are they playing this passive on purpose? Because if I see somebody play this far back in my games, I'll just go around for a hook shot like this. Oh no, boost over ball. Oh no, <laughs> I thought we were gonna be better in plat. See what happens when plat aerials. So the aerial shot ability is definitely there. They can make contact. It's just the power we're still working on. Oh no, everybody's telling me I'm stuck in plat. What's the secret to getting out? Oh no. Oh, I'm stronger. So I'm just noticing a little bit of panicking. Everybody in the chat says he looks like a gold. Void Dragon is not a gold. I might be though. <laughs> we'll go for this kickoff again. So, oh. Okay, so the plat is getting a little bit restless, one might say. The aerial ability is there, but they're not quite as versed with countering air dribbles. I think the biggest thing is if you just don't panic and you just stay with the ball, good things will happen. That's what I am learning across across the ranks. But let's not count him out yet. Let's give him a chance. Let's give him some possession. Let's see if he can do a carry. No! The pressure got to him! Sorry to all the grand plats in the stands right now. Our plat fought valiantly, but he takes home the worst record of the night thus far. Let's see if the diamond can step it up. I'm gonna be playing full strength, um, you know, unless unless I get a lead or something. We got to the kickoff a little sooner. Here we just gotta play close to the ball, make sure we get a 50. Stay close, keep getting 50s. And I know Maloki is low nope. boost, so I'm just gonna put it high. And as you can see, you don't need crazy mechanics to uh, to uh, get players even at the diamond ranks. Let's see what a diamond uh, chooses to do with the ball and when given space. A little fake challenge. A flick, not bad. Definitely uh, an improvement over the previous ranks, but unfortunately she should have taken that boost there. 
So right there, we're just watching the defender, waiting to see until they go, and then flicking the ball. He's gonna hit it up here. I'm just gonna focus on staying close to this ball, maintaining possession, try to bring it out to the center of the field if possible, and get a little bit of a fake. Here we're gonna go all the way around for, to get the ball here, and oh, unfortunately Maluki goes, Maluki goes for a boost. Even at the diamond rank that's happening. She does say she's kind of nervous, so. That is the extraneous factor. Tried to slow down the kickoff, but we get the first goal from the diamond player. Come on. Ooh, pretty good save. Hey, another good save. You know what, let's, let's, let's let the diamond set up a shot. Let's let the diamond set up a shot. Oh no, he just gave the ball away. We come around here. See if we can get, ooh, solid kickoff. So the kickoffs are definitely improving thus far. Let's see if she can get the, the aerial hit. Ooh, the aerial shots are improving too. So the, the flicks, the aerials, all that is already improving at the diamond ranks. Cuts it around, shot on net. Ah, oh, slight mechanical mistake. She gets an unfortunate spawn. Let's see if she can put the shot on net. No! The pressure! The pressure got to her again. The diamond was noticeably better at a lot of the mechanical parts of the game, but still came up short when it came to the fundamentals. So if you're in diamond, seriously, focus on shooting, ground control, patience, and most importantly, consistency. Oh, the good sportsmanship. You love to see it. So he's gonna start by going back for boost. I'm gonna take this opportunity to go for a little air dribble bump. See if we can make it happen. I do get the bump, but it does not end up converting into anything. I think we got it there. Um, so Champ definitely challenging earlier, going for a quicker play, but that the little quick pop and the follow-up um, will still get it. <laughs> um, but <laughs> he's, a, he's a little hard on himself. That was a, that was a close play. He almost got the save. Um, gonna hit it against the wall to get a bounce going, and then. We can flick, put a flick on that. Um, and he did everything right there. He just needs to be a little quicker on the goal line. My joystick fell off. <laughs> uh, so that is, oh yeah. So I'm seeing already his aerials are quicker. I was about to try to follow that up. Probably go for a shot here. Wow, not bad at all. He almost gets a little air dribble going. He's gonna put a tough shot on there and that should be in. The same strategy, funnily enough, that I was using at gold, that little bounce in, into the shot, can still work against champ here. We're gonna keep this ball in the corner and see what the champ does with it. Great job being patient there, and I think that's gonna be a goal. Hey, there we go. I figured the champ would just flip into it, but this is the first sign of saving the flip. I like that a lot. Oh, close one, a little bit of toxicity. And now he's giving me the opportunity to get boost, and I'm gonna use the same strategy he used on me. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the champ is struggling. He's doing a great job of being a little more calculated with his moves. Definitely an improvement. Transition to the defense. Let's see what he does. He's going for something. Hey! Oh, I don't know how he scored that, but. Hey, you got a flip reset. Nice shot. So mechanically, he's definitely much, much better. But just situationally, there are just a few little things that he didn't, he didn't get. But mechanically, definitely better. Definitely, definitely better. There was a big jump in skill from our diamond to our champ player. However, the champ still struggled with a lot of the fundamentals, and I think got a little too committed to certain plays, overcommitted at times, and overall was just a bit greedy. But now it's gonna get really serious. I am 1v1ing one of the graphics designers for the channel. So not only is my ego at stake, but also future thumbnails for the channel. Let's check it out. Time for the Grand Champ game. You gotta try hard now. Caleb will be no joke. He'll be a proper player. Oh no. Right as I say that, an unfortunate miss. He actually is faking. Put a tough shot on that, we'll see what he does. We'll go here, hit the ball up the wall, grab his boost, and take this one high. So I saw him on the backboard there, I wanna take it bottom left after I see that. 
Unfortunately, I'm going to get the boost here. Um, we'll go for, for a flip reset, and we got it. So I know he's going for a demo here. He's very low boost right now, so I just got to stay with it. And he shouldn't be able to save. Oh, unfortunately, I put it a little high. That one's going to hurt. Delay the flip as long as we can, and then get a simple pop. So there, it's just about playing playing the waiting game. Um, especially when you're low boost, you got to make sure you don't use your flip. So crucial at once. I'm just gonna keep challenging early until he until he adjusts. People, you know, might think, "Oh, you're just monkeying." It's not monkeying if they're if they're not adjusting, right? If it's working every time. Just here, I just gotta watch the shot. Maybe a soft touch to start would be good. Might be able to get a demo. He does a good job of dodging the demo. Now I gotta watch net, fake the quick challenge. I've been early challenging, and then go for the ball. It's all about just mixing it up. Gonna go for a chip and shoot. Caleb did a great job of going for the ball early there, um, and he's gonna get a goal. Hey. He is, he is definitely not not letting me just mess around anymore. Not gonna let that happen. Maybe go for a ceiling. Get a bump. I get the goal there. So when I realize I have no boost and I see him still flat-footed, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a bump there. That's kind of my thought my my thought process. Wasting time here. He does a good job of challenging early. Um, and he's gonna put one more in. Great game from Caleb. He had some moments where he just totally outplayed me there. So good stuff. Don't get it GGs, twisted. GGs. Caleb was Thanks by far the best player I had played against up until this point. But I had to full sweat this game because I knew the SSL match was coming up. Can I, a peak Grand Champ 2, beat an RLCS qualifier, a top tier SSL player? The answer might surprise you. Or, or it might not. I might just get destroyed. I didn't mean to say I got it. Don't ping out now, Rocket League. Put a tough shot on that. And he's SSL. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No! This guy's an SSL. I'm still in like the plat mindset. That's why like I went for that super weak shot. But it actually worked against the SSL. Uh oh. SSL with the ball on the wall. I gotta go up quick. No! I want to stay with this ball, but I probably shouldn't, and that's going to punish Yeah, he's going to punish me for that one. And I should have gone back for, for corner boost, but it's so tricky. Get a nice kickoff here. I'm going to try to stay with this ball if possible. Oh, he got he made the mistake of boost over ball. Even at SSL, they're making the boost over ball mistakes. He's going to try to cut this across. Get a quick, get a quick stop there. Just put a shot on that. Good 50 is going gonna, gonna to work out there. Baited him out there, or maybe he baited me out. <laughs> Let him go, pick up pads. Get him to panic there with a the little fake challenge. You're gonna, you're gonna, oh my gosh. And he goes for the low 50. Baited me to go and I went high thinking he would go up. I'm actually gonna let this go down cause I'm playing to win. Gonna go for a low 50 on him. It goes both ways. <laughs> But it's all good. Oh, we get a good 50, and that's going to lead to a kickoff goal. So the 50s are coming in clutch. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, I think he's going to get to the side boost first. No, he's not. That's good news. Might go for an air dribble here. I'm going to go back. He does a good job of getting a soft touch there. I messed up the air dribble setup a little bit. I gotta be careful with going early now. I'm gonna fake him a little bit. And then just a simple shot. Sometimes the, the best mind game is to make them think you have no boost and then just go for a very simple shot. It ends up working there. Don't focus on the score. Anything could happen. Just focus on being solid on the kickoffs. All right, now we can kill time maybe a little bit. See if we can bait him out. Get a 50. He's gonna try to cut this in. So we, so we should go for a stop. Maybe in? Let's go! <laughs> Gotta watch a flick here. And we just get faked entirely. <laughs> Making me look silly. 
think that'll be game? Yes. What just happened? I just beat an SSL? What? Luke and SSL confirmed? Was this whole video staged? You got good kickoffs, not gonna lie. Wow, what? I didn't want to jinx it, like, I was scared to say, like, oh, we're in the lead, we're in the lead, I don't, I don't wanna... I don't want to give myself bad, uh, bad energy, but wow. So there you have it. That is the story of how I swept every rank in Rocket League in 1v1. Now, you can say what you will. Yes, the SSL is a threes main, but that doesn't happen to me every day. So I'm more than happy with how this turned out. If you guys are interested in more live content like this here, let me know by liking the video down below. Also, my new live coaching program is currently accepting applications for our summer launch. If you haven't heard about it yet, I take a very select group of players through six weeks of live training inside this private coaching program. So if you're interested in getting involved for our summer launch, enrollment is limited. So I highly recommend you send in an application through the Google form down in the description below as soon as possible if you wanna increase your chances of reaching the interview stage with me. I'm also going to be running some giveaways over on my TikTok and Instagram, so stay tuned because I'm going to give more info on those in the next video. And if you want to get involved with future videos, make sure you are following the Twitch and are a member of the community Discord because I'll be pulling people to do more videos like this over there. With all that being said though, that's all I've got, so thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers, guys.